Welcome to another Netflix review. This is going to be my quick thoughts on Ride or Die. This is directed by Ryuya Hiroyuki. It's written by Nami Sakawa. Based on Gonjo, a manga by Shin Nakamura. It stars Kiku Mizuharu, Hanami Sanso, and Yoko Maki. Ray helps the woman that she's been in love with for years escape her abusive husband. But while they're on the run, their feelings for each other catch fire. This was another recommendation for my friend Kenneth from Kenneth Movie Corners. And I, when I saw the title, I thought fully this was going to be an action movie. But the minute I pressed play on this, because I did watch this through streaming. The minute I pressed play and I saw this trailer, I was like, this is definitely not the case. I am a fan of Asian culture and Asian cinema, so obviously this was something up my alley, but again, this is a pretty good story, and I will say this right now, this is a movie, it's definitely not going to be for everyone, of course, because this is basically a LGBTQ film. But at the same time, I try to separate that from this movie and look at it as a movie about two people on the run. It's like the Asian version of Thelma and Louis, but more intense. And I will say, I think the performances of this movie, I think, are solid. I think the performances in this movie are really well done. I, everyone in this cast... This is a very much small cast for the most part. I love the performances of the cast in this movie. Kiku Mizuhara. I did not know who she was until I watched this movie. And now that I've seen her act, I want to see more of her in films. She's really dependent. She's very capable in this role. She has some very emotional moments that I thought were very well done. And for the moment, I just liked the portrayal and the way she played it out and Kiku Muzahara is also really pretty so that's also another praise I can give to the movie also Honami Sato I thought was really great as the love interest I did buy these two together in love and I thought the rest of the cast in this movie is really good as well. The movie is 2 hours and 22 minutes. I didn't feel a length of it. I easily could have felt the length in a little bit, which I do have it. But the length, it moved by at a fast pace. And this is definitely in Japanese. So it definitely has some Japanese subtitles. So it definitely does... Go, go through the hard trials of them being in love and the intensity of it and the emotional moments there is one scene in particular involving Hinami Sato's character where she is crying I'm sitting there watching I'm like this is really good performances and for the longest time this was in my favorite movie of the year but we switched gears up a bit, and of course the list grew bigger to what it is, but this is still one of my favorites of 2021 that has to offer. I will say this now, if you are someone who's very sensitive towards the LGBTQ community and does not like seeing two Asian girls in love, this is not going to be your alley, but it's good. But I would say if you could put that aside, I think you can enjoy the movie for what it's trying to do. My only real issue when it comes to the movie, however, is like I said, it did get a little slow pace in the middle. And but everything else on a technical level, the cinematography, the editing, production design, the costumes, even the score is also well done. So Overall, Ride or Die was one of the biggest surprises of 2020 one had to offer another one. And this movie, despite the small little issue I have, I think the two lead actresses carry this movie. The script is tight and the writing is really well done. This is a movie I feel like, watch it, but I don't think you will probably like it on the same level as I did. But I'm going to give Ride or Die... My better than Vampire Academy grade. In the comment section down below, what did you guys think of it?
do you like it? Do you hate it? Or are you somewhere right in the middle? All my social media links, description box down below. You guys join the Epitaphness, and you always keep it cool.